this off and I look at my classroom. The kids help me take it down, take stuff to storage. So the stuff that remains is all the stuff I'm taking. Oh my God, overwhelming. So I have to tackle that. They tore this room up and my classroom looks like this because I quit. I quit. And so I'll be moving on to a new adventure. Oh, I got a headache now. I'll be moving on to new things and I'll just see what the world has in store for me. But it will have something to do with this globe. <laughs> Where will I land in the future? Who knows? I'm just gonna take a leap of faith and see how it goes. Yeah, few of the kids, well, the eighth graders left. And so the sixth and seventh graders, they were in the hall to clap the eighth graders out because they'll be moving on to high school and bigger and better things. And I hope they take it seriously because ninth grade people in there, you know, trying to find themselves, find the right group and this and that. But what happens if you mess up that ninth grade year, it's hard to come back from that. So a lot of people get lost in that idea that, you know, they, they, they're to have fun. But if you have future goals, you have to take ninth grade, all the grades seriously. But, you know, coming from middle school to high school, sometimes they don't really grasp having all that independence. So um, whoever's looking at this, if you're about to embark and go to high school, ninth grade, it's just as serious as 10th and 11th and 12th grade because your GPA follows you, your grade point average follows you. And so you don't wanna graduate. I would say your goal should at least be a 3.5 or for 4.0 scale. And so then my sixth graders, I love, love, love sixth grade. And I think that's where I found my true passion because their personalities kind of match mine, they're playful, that innocence is still there. Um, so I'll miss that. And seventh grade, they'll be going on to eighth grade. So I'll just miss, and I don't really know what the future holds. So I took a leap of faith and I resigned. So you guys have to continue to watch my journey to see what Crazy Basil does next. Now you only have one life to live and I think I've lived it pretty safe most of my life, you know, because I dedicated my life to my children. And so now I'm going to dedicate my life back to me. They'll figure it out. And they are all in different states anyway. So we'll see what happens. And I will make sure to take you along on this journey. So Bobby is said she's coming up here. So Bobby is coming up here to help me pack. And today was the last day of school and I have to be out because they're using my hallway for summer school. I'm like, what are you gonna sit? What are you gonna sit, boo? So yeah, I think these are all the things like, oh, there's a zoo back here, zoo. But Bobby is going to take one of these cubes. She's gonna take one of these. The kids started emptying it for me. And I'll put that one in storage. I, know, I feel like I gotta take my chair that I designed. That's how I kind of feel. My table, this table, this was the very first table that I purchased. <laughs> so I don't want to get rid of it and it opens up to a bigger table. So maybe when Bobby gets her first place, 
not that she'll want this table, but it could be a starter table and then she can move it to an office table. So it stays in a family. It's very, very sturdy, very heavy. And then these desks, if she wants to, you know, use one in the office or something for that or something else. This, I don't know, I said I was giving this to somebody. I don't remember. And I'll keep these two lamps. This, I'm going to, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to throw that in the trash. And so I'm just going to keep my good pieces. Um, this stuff back here, the bookcases. Th these bookcases are not mine. But these are books that I've collected over the years. <sighs> Some says let them go. Some says put them in storage. <sighs> I don't know, but. I know, I got a puffy face, I'm crying. So, after the little girl, she was crying, crying, crying. She said, but you won't be here next year. And she said, I won't see you. And then two little girls crying really hard. I feel like I didn't have an opportunity to really, really bond with the children as much as I would have liked because the curriculum, they just push, push, rush, rush. Everything is rush, rush, where I didn't have a lot of time to just build meaningful relationships and talk and <clears throat> learn more about the students. It was just no time. And I was always inundated with grades, grades, grades. And it just seemed like it took my entire year of just grading, grading. So I wish I was able to get closer to a lot of them. But the few who snuck through the cracks, you know, they was, I didn't think I would cry. And I think one sweet girl, she hugged me, I say about 10 times and crying, crying. And another little girl, she's my right hand man. She was like intense, she was very intense. Is there anything you need? Because I am here for you. <laughs> and she was like that the, the ooh, did I just dribble? She was like that the whole year. Really sweet. Super help. So I just told them to follow me on YouTube. I've never told my students to follow me. But this time I did, since I'll no longer be employed here. So they won't be my students. So I look at it as I'm going to spread my joy somewhere else. And what that will look like, I don't know. But I will never stay anywhere where I feel like I'm being tolerated and not appreciated. I'll get up and go. I don't have a problem with that. So. So we're going to pack up as much as we can, and then we're not take, we'll probably pack stuff in the car, Bobby and I put stuff in both our cars, and make room and just go through the storage as much as we can, so it'll be late, it'll be late. I've been in real... Look. I've been in roller skates all day. <laughs> I've been roller skating all day. The day went by so fast. I didn't have a chance. It was half day. I didn't have a chance to take the skates off. So I've just been in the skates all day for all three classes. I had three classes. And the kids love it. Hopefully they all remember Crazy Miss Dazzle for years to come. But I don't think they'll ever meet another Miss Basil. <clears throat> I just feel like there was so much more I could have done, but every just everything was just so rushed. I felt rushed. I didn't feel like I really got in there and massaged certain things, but I can only do what I could do. I mean, it's, I feel like something needs to change. Of course, a lot of things need to change in the educational system, but anyway, I'm running my mouth. 
and you know my spirit was a little broken after I had interaction with the principal here it broke my spirit and I just stopped uh vlogging and I felt like I needed a break and I couldn't keep up with the editing with all the grading I had it was too much <clears throat> for me it was too much for me especially when it comes to the writing and I want to give good feedback to children who never had to write an essay you know so sometimes I just do the most maybe I just did the most and I did it to myself but I'm always going to give my all no matter what I do okay <clears throat> I have about 50 minutes to put more grades in put more grades in baby all right, so let me go on and do this. And and thank you for those who reached out and wondered if I was okay. You know, I, I did go cold turkey, but school was really, really intense. It was the grading, the lesson planning. It was a lot. Okay, so let me try to make some room and swim over there <laughs> and try to make some room over there. So, oops. So I can great that my little makeup tissue. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna cry like that, but the, when the little girl started crying, then I started crying. The realization hit me. But I said you'll always be with Basil because you can follow me on the you and the tube. Okay, period. All right, so. That's it. Over and now, school year's over, and I have to get a U-Haul tomorrow to carry the rest out. It's like my chair. It's like, mm, mm. I let go a lot of things. I let go of a lot of things. I did. I did. Then I have my stage over there. I got my stage. And, you know, based on what I, you know, whatever happens in the future, I don't know if I'll need, you know, my stuff again. You know, I'll see how it goes for the next couple of years. And maybe it will come out of storage. So we'll see. And then Bobby's going to take. She's taken um, several pieces. She's taken all the red chairs. She's taken the red chairs. And, you know, they do team functions at school for basketball. So she's taking the red chairs. Um, she's taking this thing here. I asked her if she wanted to take the coat chairs. I love, love, love the coat chairs. Um, I don't know. Honestly... The bikes have had it. I hate to throw away. I think I'm a trash. The, the pedals never stay on. And if I decide to, you know, have an opportunity to do flexible seating again, I'll probably invest in two new chairs. I mean, I'll probably invest in two new bikes because they are tore up from the floor up. They lasted six years, honey. They did the thing. <laughs> my little bikes did the thing. And I'll take my little license plate. I used to have personalized license plates, but then they started to get expensive. And so it, when the kids came in class, they were sitting on the floor. It was a madhouse. I, I no longer cared. I, I didn't care. You know, you usually try to control, control, control. Sometimes I feel as though I don't need to have that much control. But when I need to get them in line, they get in line. I can get them in line and then they check, you know? But I don't care. Some teachers like, they're making a lot of noise. Your student, okay, and it's the last day, and I don't care. So, so, all right, let me get to work, take these skates off. My corn's starting to hurt. <laughs> my corn my corns and then i got some doc martin sandals i don't know i just could not leave these sandals most people probably won't like them but i love them and it's kind of um hurting my toe a little bit but with doc martin you have to 
um, you have to wear them in. You have to wear them in. Oh, this is a mess. Oh. Child. Child. Look at this. This. Mm -mm -mm. Look at my little babies when they were younger. And they're so cute. Oh, that was a totally different life. I miss them. Yeah. So Bobby is here with me as usual. It's Bobby, and you know I kiss her face when she's in bed. I, mm, I still kiss her face like I did when she was a baby. I wonder if she gets tired of that. No, I just kiss her face. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Sydney. She, um, I'll kiss her too. Sydney and I, like, we'll hold hands. We do stuff like that. Or oh, she'll want to sit on my lap. Ooh, one day she tried to sit on my lap and I had heels on. I was like, girl, absolutely not. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. You got to stay tuned for what's going to happen in Bowser's world next. Who knows? Y'all know I'm not afraid to try something. I'm done with car living for now. I had the experience. I'm glad I had it. I'm glad that I didn't listen to people saying, you should do this, you should do that. No, that's what you would do. You put your fears on me. But no, what's wrong with trying something? You, you crazy. You, you People have so much to say. Okay, so I'm no longer in the car, so I'm, I have to break the car down and start to prepare for this next phase of my life gonna be quite interesting but you know i will bring you guys along so i just have to close this chapter close this chapter before i begin a next chapter mm -mm. <laughs> and i need to braid this hair i've been hiding it in a ponytail <laughs> okay i'm gonna call y'all back later okay i'm gonna call you back i'm gonna call you back